going on guys? Back again to do another review on this elk hunting gear list that I've been putting together. Uh, if you guys haven't checked that out, I've got a playlist put together, I think four or five videos in there now. And I plan to continue to add to that list, not only up to the elk trip, which is about three weeks away, but I'm gonna do some videos while I'm there, of course, out in the mountains elk hunting. And then just probably follow up from that, uh, tips and tricks, you know, things I've learned, what I would have done differently and just kind of keep building off of that. So what we're gonna to do today is I wanna take a little bit of time, finally found out what stove that I wanted to use after doing a lot of research. I'm just gonna kind of go through how I'm gonna run my stove out there uh, in the mountains so I can get some boiling water and run some uh, water through my mountain house mills. I'll probably have one of these um, every evening from my prior military experience, something about a warm mill at least once a day, uh, just does the body really well, uh, just kind of builds that morale. And I might have one in the mornings, uh, some breakfast skillets or something like that, that are mills in a bag like this, uh, but we'll see. But definitely something in the evening, just kind of uh, unwind and, and settle down uh, in the evenings coming off the mountain. So we're gonna dig in here and kind of go through my setup and just what I'm using here, and I'm gonna link everything down below. Uh, you guys can take a look at it there, see if it's something you might be interested in, and we'll get right into it. So what I'm gonna do is, this will all be stuffed in, fits really well easily into my Exo Mountain Gear 4800 pack. <clears throat> just got an outdoor research uh, kind of storage back here. I've got a little bit more to add to this, but give you guys a really good idea of what I've got going on in here uh, for me. I did not buy the proprietary uh, fuel canisters. I just purchased these at Walmart because they're a lot cheaper. I think I paid just a little bit over five bucks for this. Uh, not real sure exactly how many burns I'm gonna get out of this, but I think one will be enough for uh, about an eight to 10 day trip. But just in case, I'll keep one of these in the truck. Uh, that way on the days that I do get back to the vehicle, uh, if I'm getting low or if I feel like I'm getting low, I can throw another one of these in the pack in this pack and take with me. So fuel canister right here, just get those at Walmart. Uh, what right here is pretty much everything that I need. I purchased this Stanley, uh, how big is this thing? This Stanley pot is 710 milliliters. And one reason I, I like this, uh, it's just one, it's, it's really cheap. Uh, compared to a lot of the other pots and Stanley's a good name brand. I've used some of their thermoses in the past But it just packs all my stuff in here really well except for The actual fuel canister itself, which isn't that big a deal to me But one thing that I do wish is that the base the platform of this was a little bit wider instead of being so tall But it's gonna work out just fine. So the nice thing on this and I'll show you some close-ups on this but it's got this lever here that you kind of got to pinch so you can handle this whenever the pot warms up. So you just kind of clamp that together, flip that down, and you can see it locked into place there. And then it's got a lid, a vented lid, and it's got a nice little handle there. Uh, green kind of hard polymer plastic that you can grab a hold of when the lid's hot as well. Set that off to the side for now. And then in here, this is the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. That's the stove that I'm gonna be using. And this Stanley pot actually comes with two of these cups. So this kind of like an insulated, um, you know, pour hot water in it, drink coffee, whatever you need to. But that's kind of nice. I'll probably just run one of these. Set that off to the side for now. And then you can just see how big that is. Got plenty of room in there. Uh, to get into the main part of this, this is the, the full stove right here. This is the burner. Um, nice little carrying case. Like I say, it fits right inside the pot there. Set that here. And then you can see just how little this thing is. Packs up really nice. Uh, feels like really great construction. Um, everything's just really well thought out. I'm gonna scoot up here closer to the camera and let you guys get a, a good view of this before I start putting this on uh, the gas, the fuel canister. You can just see here a really solid construction, really nice little little outfit here. So what you do is you've got these arms that support your pot. 
take these and they're kind of on a hinge, a screw. So you just swing that out and then this folds up right here, trying to keep all this in focus for you guys. That folds up and you can see right there you've got one arm out. So then you would do that to your other two, just like that. And continue, just like that, right there. That's how your pot, your boiling pot sets on top. Then right here is where it attaches to your fuel tank, your fuel canister. Right here is your control valve. It's got a little arrow diagram. I probably won't be able to pick it up this close on the camera, but you got a plus and a minus there. So all you simply do is twist this to adjust your fuel level fuel output and then everything as you can see there when I brought it closer to the camera it just folds up really well very compact so that right there is the burner itself the MSR pocket rocket 2 fits right inside your case only other things I have in here right now is an extended uh, long reach spoon uh, big fan of those just so you don't get all grimy whenever you're eating a uh, meal out of the bag pretty handy to have and then of course uh, fire source so I'll have a lighter or two with me and then of course I've got other ways you know flint different ways to start a fire if needed but uh, just carrying a simple big lighter and then only other things in this pack right now are just some electrolyte tabs uh, I always want to have those on me and you know keep, keep the body fueled keep that energy flowing and stay hydrated so we'll zip this up we'll throw this off to the side for now and we'll dig in here and just kind of show you how this sets up on the fuel canister itself and then see how quick we can get some water boiling here. So you just take this, real simple, straightforward, self-explanatory. You've got threads on each, male and a female. Take your canister, take your burner, and thread one onto the other. Don't want to over tighten, just get it nice and snug. And next, I'll go ahead and put a little bit of water in my pot here. Just gonna throw about, just gonna put just enough for a mountain house in here. And they've got a line on this Stanley pot for exactly what my mountain house calls for, which is uh, 355 milliliters of water. So we'll get that in here. And I bend these up just a tad bit. It helps keep, keeps it kind of beat up just a little bit, not too much of an angle, but it helps hold the pot on here. And those will probably move just a little bit. Nope, perfect. So next, all you would do, take your lighter, get you a little bit of fuel going. Should be able to hear that. Light there. Turn it down, set this up here, and I'm going to start a timer just to see how long it's going to take us to get some boiling water. So I probably started that what maybe seven or eight seconds late, but I got got the timer going. We'll get some uh, close-ups here and just take a look and see how long this takes to boil. One thing I like to do is don't blast it off right at first. Kind of let things get warm and then you can really pour the heat to it. But let's let that set here just a little bit. Then I'll bring this camera in once I start seeing some boils, but it shouldn't take too long. There we go, guys. It's boiling. It's going to start clogging up my hands. But we're boiling. It's been boiling for like 200 seconds or so. And I didn't crank the heat right away, so within three minutes, probably two and a half, we have boiling water.
All right, so you guys should see there within probably, I don't know, two minutes and 40 seconds to three minutes, we have boiling water and I didn't even have the heat, the fuel cranked all the way up, so I could have got it a lot quicker, but no reason to, I'm not in that big of a hurry. I, um, that's quick enough for me. But the nice thing about this pot, like I mentioned earlier, is now that this thing is super hot, I can grab a hold right here with no gloves or anything, and I've got boiling water. I'm not gonna waste one of my meals, but all you would do is take a mountain house meal, rip the top off, it tells you right here on the back, super easy, you just rip it off, pour the water that's boiling in your cup in here, let it set for about five minutes while you're stirring it occasionally, and you've got a nice warm meal on the mountainside. So I think I'll be super happy with this. Everything packs up really nice. I know the jet boils out there, they pack up even tighter than this, and it's all kind of one unit, but um, I'm way less than half the price in on this. And you know, I'm probably maybe a minute behind on boiling water. No big deal to me, super easy, um, no complaints. And I think, think everything's gonna be great, but we won't know until we get to the mountains and I'll have more updates at that point. I just wanna show you guys what I'm using any questions at all make sure and comment down below like i mentioned earlier you know check out the playlist see what all we're taking on this trip to colorado to elk hunt going to keep adding to that playlist and then hopefully put together a video at the end uh, chasing some elk around on the mountains and getting a good clean shot with the bow hopefully i have one heck of a story either way we're looking forward to it gonna have a heck of a time gonna learn a lot and gonna share those experiences with you guys so as always, appreciate you guys being here. Make sure and subscribe, follow along. Happy hunting, be safe. See you guys, bye.